I didn't know Mars had a beat. Okay. So, so it looks like this will be the same matchup that we saw in winter semis, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so both yeah. these good players faced off in winter semis. Now they're back in losers finals of this uh, incredibly stacked MSM here. So great stuff to both of these players. And um, both these players representing different regions. We have Mars from the very talented, talented region of New England. Um, their two top representatives being Light and Mars. So, I mean, just a very talented region in general. And Wadi reigning from MDVA. Dang. Oh, very strong start coming out from Wadi. And correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't this the top three of Heart of Battle? Yeah, you right. This is like almost the same <laughs> exact order. <laughs> you right. <laughs> Dang, who who uh who took out Larry? Uh, I don't know. If, if it was Wadi, then it's like might have been. It was Nico. Nico. Oh, yeah, it was Nico. Nico. Yeah, you're right. Oh dang, good stuff, Nico. Two one. Okay, well, but yeah, I mean, really, yeah, I mean, it's like <laughs> pretty much we're gonna we're gonna have the heart of battle repeat, man. Yeah, Roddy has to be running out of gas. He's been off stage for <laughs> quite a bit. I don't yeah, know if he has enough to make it back. He's like he, he's really using yeah. the back airs. Yeah, and that was really smart. If Wadi didn't use the back airs to propel himself forward in all those multiple situations, he definitely would have ran out of fuel. And that's just, you know, the Rob expertise coming out mm -hmm. from Wadi. And, I mean, in Smash 4, he made Rob before Mewtwo came out. So And then he still had the pocket Rob during all of Smash 4, too. So he knows a lot about this character. That's right. So a good kick flip from Mars. Going to get Wadi's first stock deleted. Oh, yeah, really good. Nice stuff. He used the kick flip to jump for jump over those projectiles and that's something that as a projectile us user you have to be careful of you know some of these characters have ways to just maneuver in the air really quick and that's going to be really really dangerous against projectile characters why are you getting a down throw and looking for an up tilt but he doesn't find it but still maintaining stage control Ooh. aggressive side b yes and that was a very solid punish from Wadi. I mean, he, he definitely could have, like, maybe even up smashed there, too. But side B definitely going to be enough to punish that directional air dodge to the ground. I mean, you might as well go for the guarantee. Yeah. Especially, oh, oh a couple nares into another side B. Are you doing the double jump side B? He went for it, but he does not find the kill. Okay. Yep. Right there, using the back air to propel himself forward once again. Wadi kind of overextending there, but able to get away with it. I mean, he was at a... a Really low percent. Right, uh, so the risk reward. Was, up. Yeah, yeah. Risk reward was definitely there. Um, it, it, I just feel like against Mars, it can be really scary because his edge guarding is just so, so solid. Especially but with the kick flip at his disposal. Right, right. You you, ha you have a move that essentially can just like delete your stock at. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang. Delete. Dude, Wadi is doing an incredible job at recovering. Like, I just want to point that out. Throughout this whole like top eight or throughout this whole tournament, like, you see all these people going out and trying to kill Wadi, and then Wadi's like, nah, fam, actually, 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 actually. I'm back airing you, dog. And then <laughs> he just gets the stock. Like, that's absolutely crazy. It's almost like he catches them in that panic moment after he yeah. lands a nair or something. And then the thought occurs, like, okay, now I need now I need to get back on stage. It's almost like somebody, he caught you drowning. Yeah. Like, you start gasping for air, and he just pulls you down, like, nah, son. <laughs> and then he, like, he pulls, and then he pulls you down, and he, like, climbs himself up. He's like, oh, thanks, fam. Like, I needed that. <laughs> I'll remember you later. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's just nuts, too, because this is, th these aren't against players that, like, aren't that great at edge guarding. Mars is one of the best edge guarders, like, in Smash, period. So the fact that he's doing that against Mars is insane. Okay, so we got game number two here, Pokemon Stadium. Wadi up 1-0. Mm -hmm. A good dash attack. I mean, we're just seeing great conversion coming out from Wadi. Mars keeping up with the damage in this game. Yeah, I believe the one who won in Winter Semis was uh, Mars, right? That's right. So, right, so he I won mean, in Winter Semis, and he also won in Heart of Battle. So, Ooh, no. and Wadi's got a lot to work <laughs> for. And Mars just reminding all y'all in the stream, like, yeah, my edge guards are pretty sick. Gets the deep back air against Wadi. He's going to obliterate him on the right side. Great use of Gyro, just putting Mars off stage and now landing. Oh, it looked oh. like he was searching for the side B. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was definitely like the Wadi special, just nair and then double jump, empty hop. Let's see what you're going to do. Yeah, he, he's B. just so good at, like, scouting out exactly when you want to double jump to. Okay, there's a side B, but Mars is going to wait it out. Ooh, the top kind of... Stumbling him up a little bit. Yeah, almost interrupted uh, Mars a little bit, but not enough for Wadi to actually convert. Ooh, and the Nair not going to fall down. And Mars just keeping this assault up with these up airs. So hard for Rob to land. So we're going to see a down throw. What's the match going to be? Oh, chasing with an up air. It doesn't find it, but a down smash does connect. Yeah. 
Zero Suit up smash. Not going to scoop Wadi up there and a great punish with the down smash. Going to seal out that sock. But Mars is off stage and he's hunting. Yeah, not opting to go off stage just yet. I mean, he does realize the, the reversal potential from Wadi. Okay, he's got the platform pressure. Nice parry. And that's one thing that, you know, I, I feel like um, Ike and Rob, they might potentially fall off later on in the meta just because I, I feel like a lot of players are going to start getting better at nairing. Uh, or parrying nares because okay. nares a uh, just most nares are just like especially like Rob and Ike they have the startup and then you see it coming down and see it right there like we see Mars just parrying that and you you can definitely do that on a reaction if your parry game is really well. That's right. It is extremely telegraphed. Uh, but now, why are you just kind of trying to stay in Mars's face? Now that Mars has the the stock mm. lead, he's definitely playing a little bit more defensive uh, yeah. in spacing Wadi out. And I like these overly aggressive forwarders coming out from Mars. He like he's abusing Zero Suit's air mobility, so he's coming in with these fares, and he's crossing up so far that Wadi can't even punish out of shield. Mm -hmm. But now Wadi has the assault. But here comes the up airs from Mars. Oh, very very close. But Wadi is gonna get the best of that situation with the up smash. It almost looked like Mars was just trying to keeping Wadi in the air, but looking for his moment where he throws out an aggressive Ooh. air or an air dodge, and then trying to get the punish into a boost kick. But um, Wadi not going for any of those options and now trying to recover from the left side of the stage. Yep, I like the cancel there. And we even see the directional air dodge afterwards as well. Wow, no boost kick to punish the uh, neutral air up, but that one should do the trick. Mars is going to take game number two. All right, so bringing up the score 1-1. One, one. I mean, it's looking kind of familiar. I think I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I've seen this tale, but I mean, we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, I, I felt like that, like both of the games that they have right now were both pretty convincing. I mean, it was nothing like a two-stock or anything, but well, Game 3 is very, very pivotal. So we'll, we'll see how this Game 3 goes. We'll see who takes the momentum here. That's right. I mean, this game is going to be extremely important. Not only is it going to dictate who has who's going to be one game away from advancing to Grand Finals, but it's also going to dictate who has the last pick of uh, counter picks. Yeah. And, I mean, like, whoever wins this set... We'll get another shot at trying to get Leo off this wolf because uh, Leo's entire stay in SoCal has been on that wolf. No, no, no one, uh, no one strong enough to get him off. I was hoping to see, you know, maybe some IA, a little bit of Lucina, sprinkle in a little Lucina, maybe some Cloud. Tell me you can drop Cloud, by the way. Uh, Dang, RIP, yeah. RIP Cloud. Uh, <laughs> but oh wait, ladder? Oh, the air dodge. Oh wow, I'm surprised that laser did not anti air. Good parry of the gyro skill. He's racing that. Beautiful spacing coming out from Mars. There's a forward air. Going to get Wadi in a offstage situation here. Mars is looking for the edge guard. But Wadi says no with the neutral air. He says get back on the stage. We have more to talk about. Oh, and I love the maneuverability. And I don't think Wadi was ready for that back air. Mars thinking it right in. But the neutral air to the side. We're not going to connect for Wadi. That could have been a stock right there. I don't think he's that, he's actually landed it against Mars uh, in the set. Yeah, I, I think Mars is just doing a really good job of not getting neutral aired by the ledge. And even when he does, he's just ready for the PI. A good up smash. But not be able to convert off it for players. Oh, throw him into the top, too. That was really smart. Okay, but the up air going right through. And I like the resets, but the top going to disrupt Mars' up air strings. Wow. Even taking on a little bit of extra damage from Wadi's Nair. Oh, not nice. Instant gonna... kickflip. Yeah, that was really smart. The mash into the kickflip there. But right now, Wadi just needs to try and take this first stock. Mars is still sitting on this 147%. Even holding down on the recovery. Dropping <laughs> down really far. He's still going to make it back, but Wadi with the coverage got the flames on deck. But is it too late? 95% onto a Rob the Robot. Big back air comes connecting for Mars. I like Mars just maneuvering around all those projectiles there. He's got the ledge trap. Tries to get the ledge jump with the flip kick, but does not work out. And we can see a grab. A couple empty hops coming out from Mars. Make it very difficult if he's going to throw out that back air or an up air. Oh, there's the parry. <laughs> that was crispy, man. That, whoo. The parry, and like I said, parrying these nares, it's going to be very, very important moving forward in the meta. I mean, he literally parried to death. <laughs> yeah, that, that was such a clean, and and like I said, you can react to the Rob Nair. So you parry that, and oh my, that stock was just so quick. <laughs> I almost forgot that he had three stocks. Dang. That was two stocks. 
yeah, he he obliterated him that last talk. And like I, oh man, when when these New England players, man, when they get that momentum, they just they don't stop. <laughs> no, no, they just keep on rolling, just keep on trucking. It's just crazy too, because Wadi is definitely up there in the ranks of like even like I would even say like the buzz in terms of defense. He has one of the strongest defense out of uh, the top players in Smash Ultimate. So I mean, for Mars to be able to overwhelm someone that has that well of a defense is very yes. incredible yes i completely agree so now we see a state switch coming out from wadi still sticking out with the rob uh but now we're going to uh triplats yeah now, very interesting i do think uh triplats is just really good in this matchup for zero suit but i think wadi is just very comfortable on triplats we'll see how it goes um, i think for the most part mars would win on battlefield in this matchup. I mean, traditionally, Zerosu does very well on, on uh, Triplots. Right, because you get the combo extension. And as, the latter is not as consistent in this game, but just, you know, having that combo extension is really nice. Especially with the way that that uh, Mars can actually space out his up airs and his fastball up airs. Mm -hmm. he, can, he can keep someone in the air for minutes. All right, so we'll see how good Wadi is at diffusing this momentum because I'll tell you right now, Mars has a lot of momentum coming from that game number three. Tra Going to transfer over to this game number four, especially at the start of this stock. Taking a lot of time getting back to the stage. Good yeah. good, uh, good job grabbing the ledge. Right, you need that invincibility right when Mars went off for the back air. Yeah, Mars is out of shield up. either, getting more and more on point. And that, that's just scary because uh, that, that's a really good option to have out of shield. Oh, and there's the oh, Mars special. But no scoop up from Wadi on the punish. Yeah, I mean, that definitely could have. No, I don't think it would have been the stock. Maybe you've got the full charge, but that boost kick will definitely be Wadi's first stock here. And Mars still riding that momentum and the nice, beautiful parry on that Nutra. And that is what I'm talking about. You, you, once you start getting the parry game on that Nutra, then Rob's have to start throwing out different aerials. And then that's a whole nother game. Um, just a whole other game plan for them. I've been talking about Wadi's side Bs. Uh, I was wondering where they were when he was fighting against Nico, but now that I'm seeing him here when he's fighting Mars, they're just oh. not working. But that down throw into down smash, that definitely did work. Yeah, down throw. I, I like the up air too. He forced the air dodge and was able to get that trap with the uh, down smash. Really good stuff coming out from Wadi. Able to seal out that st stock from Mars. I would just like... Even though it's even percent, you can just see how much how difficult it is for Wadi to get in on Mars. The Nairs, they're not working anymore. Yeah, and I mean that that's just the the scary thing. I mean, if Mars still like just becomes very confident at um, just pairing these Nairs, which we've seen him do. Uh, he's not pairing like every single Nair. Oh, and that's the stock. You can't you can't get hit by that falling Nair, especially on these tech chase situations. That's right. It's Tech almost like so inkling. important. Yeah, it's almost like Inkling where like you get a tech chase situation and you're like, well, I can't pick the options that get covered by roll because then I'm just done. Oh, okay. and there it is. Not going to catch the jump, but catches the flip kick. That's right. And a very crucial moment for Wadi that side B uh, takes a stock for the first time. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Is I mean, it? Okay, no, just going to cash up with the up airs. Yeah, just big damage coming from Mars, but nothing, uh, nothing that would threaten a stock. So it's not threatening the set just yet. But a couple more up airs landing from Mars. Now just the up airs just keep coming out. What did I say? He can keep people in the air for minutes. Yeah, right now, I mean, Mars just doing an amazing job of keeping the pressure on. Wadi has not been able to play for quite some time here. Here's the back to the ledge here. Mars going to be a little bit more safe. He, he doesn't need to really make a crazy risk off stage, so definitely see why he's playing it safe. Oh, that Good punish. Tech, Good punish on that missed tech. Using a forward air and then punishing with an up air. And now... Throwing out these kill options, the boost kick gonna be enough? It yeah. is. Oh, dang, you got.